to you live from the Great Lakes Center in Aurora, Illinois. We're ready to call some college volleyball today. Right now, the first game is between the Michigan State Spartans and the Bradley Braves. I'm Tommy Carroll, here with my man Mike Johnson. How are you doing today, Mike? Fine, Tom. Good. All right, well, we're in the middle of the game right now. We apologize for starting on a delay. Right now, it is score currently... Michigan State 9, Bradley 7. So we're going to go ahead and jump in right here. And for the Spartans, serving right now is number 9, Allie Falter, middle blocker from Lincoln, Nebraska. Floater serve over, bump, pass, cross for hit, blocked, and point for Bradley. 9-8, Bradley will be serving. for Camp, Madison Camp from Orland Park, Illinois, right here in the southwest suburbs. Voter serve, return, set to far side, and slam down a kill by number 15 for Michigan State, Maggie Halloran. 10-8 Michigan State. And serve. Set by Bradley, block. Rubio passes it, deep set, cross court, hit, kill for the Spartans. Corey Moster, the All-American from Cincinnati, Ohio for Michigan State, the Libero Specialist, is serving right now, jump serve, floater. Passed over the net, opens hand set. Cross court, kill by the Spartans again, and it is 12 to 8. That one just off the fingertips of Madison Camp. Serving again is Corey Moster. Hard serve over the line. Bradley receives, hits a cross court. Spartans getting blocked by Bradley, goes out of bounds. Michigan State point again. 13-8 Spartans. Corey Moster, one of the finest players in the nation. An All-American. She'll be serving again, 13-8, in this first game of this tournament. We'll be here all day long. Jump serve, cross court. Bradley set. And it hits the net. She tried to tip it over, and it did not work. Yeah, a little bit of a miss hit there by uh, Cordelia Cord Murphy. Yeah, Murphy just on that, just that little bit, not enough of the tap, and doesn't go over the net. And we have a timeout right now. And we would just like to welcome you for a great day of volleyball action. We've got six teams playing right now, and it's going to be a fun day here at the Great Lakes Center. we got Michigan State, Bradley, Purdue, Marquette, Notre Dame, DePaul. Lots of great volleyball to start this spring season. You were talking about Madison Camp earlier. What a tremendous setter she is. All term Made three all-tournament teams on the AD honor roll. She was a freshman of the week back in 2011. Ranked third on the team with 183 digs last season. Not only that, she's a uh, player here from Illinois, so some of some people might remember her from uh, playing in her high school days on SportstownChicago.com. Obviously, we're on Chicagoland Sports Radio right now, but still somebody who has made her, a name for herself and is still doing so at the college level. Bradley has seven people from the Chicagoland area on the roster, so I'm sure it's a good homecoming for all their players. I'm sure their family and friends that are here watching them. We, as we return from timeout, Michigan State will be serving. Again, it is Moser, 14-8 Spartans. Jump serve. Bump by Bradley. Crossover net blocked by Michigan State. Bradley trying to get it. Second hit over. Michigan State returns. Set. And goes over to the Bradley side. Bradley tries to knock it. Cross the board. And it's blocked by Bradley. And Bradley gets on the board at the point. 14-9. Bradley will serve. Great block by number two, Leah Sack, defensive specialist for Bradley, and a sophomore. 
Serving for the Braves will be Lauren Zarante, a senior from Elmhurst, Illinois, York High School. Def defensive specialist serving now. And it's a service error going into the net point, Michigan State. And we have substitution coming in, and it will be number 10 for the Spartans. Kelsey Culper. Lauren Zarante, a new libero. Played middle blocker and outside hitter her first two seasons. Cross court hit by the Braves and they get on the board again. 15 to 10. Braves will return serve. Serving for the Braves, number seven, Amy Angelos from Waukegan, Illinois. A lot of players in the Illinois suburbs here. Michigan State, back set, cross court hit. And it's going to be a point for the Spartans. Great play there by number 15 for the Spartans, Lauren Wazinski. And that is your AVCA All-American watch for the 2013 season. Wazinski, an outside hitter, one of the finest players in the country as she serves it. Bradley sets, cross-court hit, and it goes out of bounds. Another point for the Spartans. Yeah, mistakes really helping out the Spartans right now too. Mistakes being made by Bradley, I should say, as they, uh, there, you had the, the one that they tried to tip over the net, didn't get it over the cross court, try and go for the kill, and not getting that one as well. And a nice back set and cross court hit, and the Spartans can't return it. That's going to be a point for Bradley. 17-11, Michigan State. Bradley will be serving. And it'll be number one, Jessica Teal. Got to try and get a couple points back here as we're starting to get into the later part of this set. Back set by Michigan State. Cross court hit, returned by Bradley. Back set, and it's blocked and it goes out of bounds though. And it's like a point for Michigan State. 18-11 now. Serving for the Spartans will be number 14, Jasmine White. And we have a floater served across court. Tough to turn. Third hit comes back. Set and a quick hitter turned by the Braves. And we have an illegal hit and it's all left by the Braves. So again, Michigan State will serve up 19-11. Bradley needs to come back right now if they have any shot in this match. This set. Another floater served. Cross court, return. Bradley, cross court hit, blocked. Bradley still training possession. A little there, and there's a nice little dink by Bradley. They nice. get 19 12. Nice dump there by Madison Camp, put it right where the defense wasn't. Beautiful little dink right there. Just, just enough touch. Bradley will serve right now. Kristen Kelsey, the setter from Wheaton, Illinois, out of St. Francis High School. Back set by the Spartans. Goes for a cut shot down the line. Does turn by the Braves. And the Braves hit it a little too far out of bounds. It's going to be a point for Michigan State, 20 to 12. Jesse Tulaka, the outside hitter, sophomore out of Westmont. Just a little too hard on that, uh, on that spike. And here comes... Number 12, Kristen Kelsey, the setter from Wheaton, again. Cross court hit, turn Moser, middle hit, and it's just out of bounds. It's gonna be a point for the Braves, 20 to 13. Braves showing a little bit of life, Mike. Yep. They were nine and 20 last year, just three and 15 in the conference, so they struggled, but they're a young team and uh, they got some valuable playing time last year, most of them, so this is a big matchup for them. Well, yeah, Sack serves. Michigan State, a little tip over the net, and it's gonna be a point for the Spartans. 21 to 13, Michigan State 25 and 10 in the year last year. They had a successful season. And again, Wazinski and Moser. All-Americans, and right now serving for the Spartans is number nine, Taylor Galloway. Bradley back sets, cuts it down the line, but it goes out of bounds, it's gonna be a point for the Spartans. Michigan State started last season 12 and 0, but they started, they struggled in conference play, but it was a very tough conference schedule. They had a big win against seventh ranked UCLA at the end of the year. 
Anytime you're playing in the Big Ten, you're definitely coming up to some stiff competition. Absolutely. And right now, that's going to be another point. Actually, that's going to be a point for the Braves as uh, serve went out of bounds by Michigan State. And right now, serving for the Braves is Madison Kemp. And that's going to be a point for the Braves as the cross-court serve cannot be returned. Bradley down 22 to 15. Can they make a run, Mike? Uh, it's possible. We'll have to see. Camp serves. Floater serves. Moser, good dig. Michigan State now starting up for a deep, deep side attack. And the ball just, that's a campfire. All the players standing around looking at it. And it's going to be a point for Brad, or for Michigan State. Definitely a playable ball. Uh, both players out of position should have reacted better. Serving now is Moser, the outstanding Libero. Back set by Bradley, and that's going to be a point for the Braves as is a cross-court hit. What a play by Bradley, 23-16. Nice play by Leah Sack on the spike. Serving right now for the Braves is going to be Lauren Zarante, the sophomore, the senior, I should say. Going to be a senior. Going to be a senior. <laughs> Bradley, uh, and they st Bradley stumbling all over each other, and they collide, and they cannot get the ball over the net. And that's going to be a point for Michigan State. We have 24-16, so the Braves down to their last bullet. And serving is the state is number four, Hallie Peterson. Set by Bradley. Oh, cut shot down the line. Turn and go out and play still going on. We got a tremendous rally going on, and it's going to be a double hit by Michigan State. And the Braves are still alive, Mike. They are just got to cut down on the mistakes. They're the most undermatched team in the tournament. They play air free, they have a shot at winning a game. Angelo serves for Bradley coming across, and there's a powerful cross court kill. Michigan State's going to take this first set. By a score of 25 to 17, they will rotate sides. And again, 25 17 Spartans. What do you think, Mike? It was a solid matchup. Um, Michigan State was a better team heading into this one. They've played uh, much better competition. Bradley, like I said, they were 9 and 20 last year and really struggled, but they were a young team and they're coming back with more experience. A lot of uh, underclassmen last year got some valuable playing time. Look for uh, two juniors, outside hitter Elise Tuparitis and middle blocker Amy Angelos to be uh, two keys to uh, the team today, along with junior libero Lauren Zarante. Also outside hitter Courtney Keefe and center mass and camp should be factors as well. And we're going to take a, pick, take a break right now. You're listening to ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. You love sports, you have drive and determination, but you need skills to work in sports broadcasting. Hey, this is Tom Waddle, and I'm here to tell you how to get those skills at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Get hands-on training for a career in radio, TV, or digital media. Learn to be a host, producer, or shoot and edit video. With internships, day and night classes, affordable tuition, and job placement assistance, you can start a new career in less than a year at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Go to beonair.com slash Chicago Sports to put the ball in play. That's beonair.com slash Chicago Sports. Mark Tressman is the new head coach of your Chicago Bears. He's bringing his assistants from Canada and his crazy offense. How about the annexation of Puerto Rico? What does that mean to Brian Urlach or Jay Cutler and the rest of the Bears team? You better lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Hockey is back in Chicago. We'll be along for the rise as Chicago Blackhawks look to regain their top spot in the NHL and hoist Lord Stanley's Cup. We're tracking the Bulls' push for the postseason and also following Derrick Rose's return to the lineup. That and so much more on the Pat Nash and Kevin Gibbon Show, Fridays 2-4 to 4 on SportstownChicago.com. Hi, my name is Mark Ward. I'm Jason Canock. I'm Casey Canock. And, and we're, we're the good, good guys on Sportstown Chicago. Chicago. Hey guys, you like the Bears? How about the Bulls? Or just Chicago baseball? Sorry, Fire fans. Ooh, and they are... Welcome back. It's the second set between the Spartans and the Braves. 
And we're going to give you a little bit more information on Wazinski and Moser for the Spartans. Lauren Wazinski and sophomore Libero from last year, Corey Moser, are selected for the AVCA D1 All-American teams. Wazinski ranked fourth in the NCAA in service aces with .63 and seventh in the country in points per set with 5.33 this season. Her mark of 4.43 kills per set also ranks 16th in the NCAA. Wazinski broke the single season record for service aces at Michigan State with 81. Corey Moser, the co-captain, became the 11th All-American at Michigan State, securing All-American honorable mention. And we're ready to start set two. Spartans won the previous set. We'll see if Bradley can recover. Mike, where the, Brad, Mike, what does Bradley need to do to gain their composure and get back into this match? Just continue to execute better and avoid uh, avoid errors, avoid making mistakes because they're an undermatched team and they have to play pretty much near perfect volleyball in order to beat a Michigan State or a Marquette. Michigan State, a tough team. You're talking about most or two over 600 digs, by far the most on the team. And return, returning the action right now. Michigan State sets it. And it's blocked by the Braves, but Michigan State keeps it alive. Cross court hit. And the ball's coming right towards us. That's going to be a point for Michigan State. Number nine, Taylor Galloway, the outside hitter with a nice cross court spike. Serving is Kristen Kelsey. Bradley returns. Set by Michigan State. Bradley returns. Moser sets it up. Spike in the cut down the line, but it does not. It goes out of bounds. That's going to be a point for Bradley. One to one. Number seven, Amy Angelos. I mentioned her earlier, one of the best players on the team. Made a nice block to keep the play alive. Madison Camp serving. Warland Park, Illinois. Chicago Christian. Serves over Michigan State. Sets in a little dink right between the Bradley backside row, and that's going to be a point for Michigan State. A little bit of backstory for, for Camp is that she had a lot. She has a lot of family that also went to Chicago Christian along with her, and Dr. Pete called them the sisterhood of the traveling camps because there was four of them on the team. <laughs> Turn serve Bradley is blocked by Michigan State, and that's going to be a point for the Spartans. Three one. Chicago Christian, right by my house. Nice block there by Hadley Orr, the freshman out of Forest, Indiana. Ebony Scott now serving. Excuse me, that's Taylor Galloway. Bradley returns to serve cross court. Good dig by Michigan State. Set cross court kill for the Spartans. Four to one. Lorden Wazinski, junior. She's a local too, out of Geneva. She transferred from Northern Illinois. And she is a very, very special player in this Big Ten Conference and the nation. Absolutely. And service over. Bradley saves it. Third hit back over. Moser sets it up. And it's going to be a kill for the Spartans again. That's number 14, Jasmine White. Nice spike off the net. Just landed inbounds. Excuse me. That's Alexis Matthews from Detroit, Michigan out of Renaissance High School. We're going to play right now, a little dink over there. Michigan State gains control, sends it back over, back set. Again, set. Libero sets it back up. Back row attack, and it cannot be returned by the Spartans. It's going to be a point for Bradley. Number two, Leah Sack making some nice plays out there for Bradley. Sophomore out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Lauren Durante serving again. Floater serve. And it's a cross court kill again for the Spartans. Number 15, Lauren Wazinski, the All American. We saw why there. That was a hard spike. There's not much they could do about that one. Moser. The other All-American serving again. Jump serve, floater with a little help with the knuckleball. Bradley returns it, and Michigan State cannot send it back. That's going to be a point for Bradley, 
right off the arms of Kristen Kelsey and it went behind her and out of play. Serving for Bradley is number seven, Ryan Hubbard from Battle Creek, Michigan. And the Spartans cannot return it as it hits the net. That's gonna be another point for Bradley. Serving again is Ryan Hubbard. Set. And it's going out of bounds then. Michigan State could not keep it in bounds. Bradley has to feel good about themselves. 6-5 Michigan State. Jasmine White, sophomore out of Oshawa, Ontario. Service again. That's going to be another point for the Braves as they tie this set up 6-6. Six six. Momentum all with the Braves right now. Michigan State making a look a little bit flustered. Again, Hubbard will be serving. She's on a roll. Cross court. Back row attack. Leg back, set. Here comes Bradley for the kick. Cross court, and it's bump back. Cross court set, and a cut shot down the line. And it's Wazinski again with the kill. 7-6 as we have a rotation coming in. Substitution. And it's going to be number 10. Kelsey Culpers. I see why Wazinski's an All-American. There was not much Madison Camp could have done to block that. Service over and a little dink over the net and it's Michigan State tried to return it, but it's going to be a point for the Braves. So they're hanging in there, 8-6. Camp got her revenge with a nice little dump. Jessica Teal serving, floater across court. Set Michigan State, and it's a cross-court kill again. It's going to be Wazinski. She cannot be stopped in this match, Mike. No, she can't. That's an All-American for you. And let me tell you, if you haven't seen college volleyball, men or women, these athletes are incredible with the strength and power they serve and hit with. And Michigan State serves it in the net. That's going to be a point for the Braves. 571 kills for Lauren Wazinski last year. Serving for Bradley is going to be number 12, Kristen Kelsey from Wheaton, Illinois. Michigan State tries to set it over that. Overhand pass back over. Bradley bumps. Crosses it over to Michigan State. Back row attack. And it's going to be Wazinski again as a point for the Spartans. And Lauren Wazinski again showing why she's one of the nation's best. And a little more information for you guys. Kelsey has a sister who actually played at Wheaton St. Francis this past season, won a state championship. She's going to the University of Illinois, and she's actually in attendance down watching her sister play. Oh, that's a good sister. Yeah. And Bradley gets a point. It's going to be a tie ball game pretty good volleyball playing family if you think I mean you got one in the Big Ten at Michigan State and the other one at Illinois two pretty good schools absolutely they might have to split the parents up to see <laughs> see the kids games well, well they'll play each other yeah a couple of times yeah so. except for when they play each other it's gonna be hard for those parents maybe yeah though. I imagine each one wore a different jersey mm -hmm. perhaps and Bradley serves it into the net it's gonna be a service error it's gonna be a point for the Spartans they take the lead 10 to 9 Moser cheering her team on and checking into the game is going to be Alexis Matthews, the middle blocker, 6-3 from Detroit, Michigan. Heard there's a uh, big basketball game going up uh, tonight in the Detroit, not in the Detroit area, but the Detroit fans will be looking for the Wolverines, their arch rival, but maybe they'll hope they'll win. And Bradley gets another point as I get sidetracked. <laughs> and, and mine's on the final four. I apologize, but we're calling volleyball right now. That's a point for the Braves, and they tie it up again. Bradley hanging in there. They're playing very well right now. Madison Kemp. Bump. Step back set. Blocked by the Braves. They keep it in play. It's a back row, set by Spartans, White, and it's in play, White, and White just turns it down again. Point for the Spartans, 11 to 10. Excuse me, that's Alexis Matthews. Chrissy Chinowith for Bradley made a nice job saving, but uh, unfortunately he couldn't get the ball land on Michigan State's side. Cross-court attack by Bradley. Moser sets it up. 
And it's going to be Wazinski again with some spin on that action. That's going to be another kill for her, 12-10 to 10, Michigan State. She's had State. Madison Camp's number the whole game. Madison Camp just can't find a way to block it, keep the ball in play. And they're, they're definitely isolating Wazinski on Camp. Floater serve by Michigan State. Back set, and it's, again, it's Wazinski just with a subtle little tip over the net. Another point for the Spartans, 13-10. They seem to be regaining control of this set. Lauren Wazinski showing why she's team captain and All-American. Galloway serving now, turned by Bradley. Set, and that's going to be going out of bounds. Michigan State point. 14-10 Spartans, second set here. If you're just joining us, Spartans won the first set, 25 to 17. Service, back set, Bradley, cross court, back, and it's going to be a point for Bradley as Alexis Matthews could not return the serve. Or excuse me, could not return the, the hit. spike. The spike, yeah. Serve, hit, spike. <laughs> Service for Bradley now. Zarante again. We'll knuckle ball over the net. And again, it's another point for the Spartans as it is Matthews, the tall middle blocker from Detroit. She had 266 kills last year. Moser, again, jump serve, knuckleball, right down the line. Bradley sets it, cross court set. Cross court kill for Bradley. 15, 12 Spartans. And right now, serving for Bradley will be Ryan Hubbard. From Battle Creek, Michigan, St. Philip Catholic Central. She serves it over, Michigan State. Give me a point for Bradley, 15-13 now. They're still staying in it. Amy Angelos serving. And that serves going long. That's going to be a point for the Spartans. And it is 16-13 Michigan State. Ellie Peterson serving now. Little floater. Bradley bumps it. And it's blocked over the net. And it's going to be a kill for Michigan State. 17-13 as they start to take a little bit of edge here. Great block on the play by Alexis Matthews. She is definitely a force in that middle blocker position as they have three hitters stacked close to the net. Service by Michigan State, and it goes into the net. Bradley staying alive. Michigan State, their own service errors. Kathy George, head coach for Michigan State in her eighth season, cannot be happy about that. Serve Bradley. Matthews again, just a little dink over the net. Right nice. side of the court, and it's going to be a point for the Spartans. Nice little touch there by Jasmine White. Serving for the Spartans, here she is again. Wazinski. And jumps her powerful with some spin on it. Bradley able to gain control, third hit back over the net, and it's going to be a point for this part for Bradley. 18 to 15, they're hanging in there. That was a great play, Mike. Nice hit by Jessica Teal, sophomore out of San Antonio, Texas. She's a setter slash defensive specialist. Kristen Kelsey serving now, and Moser can't quite gain control, but the Spartans get it back. Back over to the Spartans, Moser bumps it. And it's returned. Bradley returns across court. Wazinski, open and pass, deep set, and it's going to be a point for the Braves. Jasmine White again with another nice touch over the net, just barely landing inside the line. Jessica, Jesse Tulaka from Westmont, Illinois, serving. Return to the Spartan set. Cross court hit, blocked by Bradley, and that's going to be a point for Bradley as they pull into one point. It's going to be 18 17. The Braves are on a roll, Mike. Just off the hands of Wazinski, and Bradley is staying alive. A few service errors from Michigan State have kept them in it. Tulaka from Donners Grove, north, western suburbs of Chicago. 
Serves it over, Spartans, back row attack to Twizinski, but shit goes out of bounds, and Bradley has now tied the game up. 18-18, second set, it's 1-0 Michigan State right now. Jesse Tuaka did a nice job staying out of the way, that ball just missed touching her. As she gets set to serve. Tuaka on her third serve, trying to keep it going. Floater serve, a little knuckleball action on it. And the hit is returned by Bradley, and it's again back to Bradley's side. Michigan State makes a great job keeping it alive. Moser bumps it, keeps it set, and oh, what a play! A little cross or down the line, a little cut shot dink, and the Spartans take a one point lead. Taylor Galloway did a great job on that play, wouldn't stop hustling, dove out of play to keep the ball alive, and then she just barely placed the ball over the net. Right through the Bradley defense. And Spartan serving with a one point lead. Knuckleball serve. Lieber up Bradley saves it. And Bradley tries to return it. And it's going right into the net. It's going to be a point for the Spartans. They are up to. An error there by Chrissy Chinolith. Fairly easy play. Just uh, hit the ball in the wrong spot and couldn't get it over the net. And we have a break in the action. Right now, 20-18, to 18. you're listening to Volleyball, College Volleyball on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. So right now, Bradley hanging in there, Mike. Only down two points right now. If they can get a little more momentum, they can steal this set from the mighty Spartans. They're, they're very competitive. Uh, it just comes down to stopping Lauren Wazinski and Jasmine White. They're the team leaders for Michigan State in points right now. And Wazinski, you know, she's been dominating through the first set and a half, but she's recently come up with a couple errors, mm -hmm. and it's going to be up to the Spartans to keep that going. Is I'm sure that's what the coach from Michigan State is saying, just don't beat yourselves, don't make mistakes. Well, Kathy George is hot in that huddle right now, mm -hmm. telling her Spartans to get it together. She's been a very successful coach in her eighth season here at Michigan State, and she's been kind of coaching for 26 seasons, so... She definitely knows how to fire her team up, but Bradley comes out of the huddle, fired up, ready to go, ready to return this serve from Michigan State. Exciting second set here, as Michigan State won the first one. 2018 Michigan State, service, floater over, Bradley sets it. Cross court attack, and it's just out of bounds. It's gonna be a point for Michigan State. They lead 21-18, Mike. Hard spike there by Chrissy Chenoweth. Just a little too hard. The cross-court spike went out of bounds. Spartans again serve. Cross-court serve, floater. Back set, back row attack. Spartans gain control, set by Wazinski. And that's going to be a point for Bradley. That is a double hit by Wazinski. She seems to be making a few errors, Mike. Yep, it's it. Yeah, the... This is what we're talking about. Can't beat yourself, can't make mistakes, especially this late in the game. We're keeping Bradley, which is a lesser opponent in this game. Right now, service. Bradley. Wazinski, overhand pass over the net. Bradley returns it, coming up with a cross court hit. Moser saves it, diving save. Cross court hit, blocked. Those Braves, Braves keep it in action, and they took it over the net. Michigan State gains control. Wazinski coming up, hard cross-court attack, but Bradley gains control in the second hit, and they send it back over. Wazinski, overhand pass, and a set. Oh, and a beautiful play right there by Michigan State, and that's going to be a kill for them. Nice touch by Taylor Galloway. Bradley was sitting back expecting the hard spike. Just a little bit of touch over the net. 22-19 right now. It's going to be serving for the Spartans. Number 12, Kristen Kelsey. The setter serves. Block Michigan State. And Michigan State cannot return it as Bradley gains another point. They're hanging in there, 22-20. Off the hands of Kristen Kelsey. Serving for Bradley now will be Hadley, or excuse me, Hadley Pe Peterson from Rockford, Michigan. Service over. And it's a Matthews. She cannot return it back as she tries to go to the cross court kill. Out of bounds. Point for Bradley. It's a one point game. 22-21. Looked like it almost went off the hand of Madison Camp. 
Madison Camp serving again. Floater serve. Set and Matthews with a hard kill. It's returned by Bradley. Bradley puts it over the net. Michigan State diving around for it. They get it back and it's a cross court kill for the Spartans. 23-21. Moser cheering her team on. Spartan serving right now. And it's a service error. It hits the net and Bradley staying in the game. The Spartans don't want to seem to win this game. Maybe they're giving it away. Maybe they aren't. 23-22. Spartans, Bradley serving. Michigan State coaches can't be happy with this so far. A lot of mistakes we've seen this game. Sorante serves over. And it's cross court return. Bradley and Wazinski with the huge kill right down the line. That Spartans within one point of winning this set. That bump went to the wrong place. It went on to Michigan State side and unfortunately right into the hands of Lauren Wazinski. And it's Moser's. She serves it over. Bradley needs to stay alive. They bring it over, and it's going to be a point for Bradley as it's a cross-court kill. They're within one point, 24 to 23. One of the leaders on this team, Mamie Angelos, making a play when they needed her. Angelos serving. Tips it over the net, let's serve, but it goes over. Wazinski tries to dink it over the net. Bradley keeps it alive, back set. Return over, set. Wisinski coming across court attack, but it goes into the net, and Bradley has tied this game up 24 to 24. Wisinski going for the kill off her own side of the net. And Angelos keeping her team alive. Let's serve goes over the net. And it's Matthews, though, who kills it for the Spartans. And the Spartans are going to take the lead 25 to 24. Got a win by two in this rally scoring, so one more point. Set point for the Spartans. Serving is Hallie Peterson. Floater serve, back row, back, and it's gonna be a point for the Spartans. They win set number two, 26 to 24. The Braves hung in there, but they couldn't do the job quite completely, Mike, but what an incredible set. It was. Give Bradley credit for playing very hard. They uh, found something special within themselves to stay in that game, but also Michigan State with a lot of mistakes too. And that's the second set, Michigan State 2-0. We're gonna take a break. You're listening to ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Daddy, will you look at me? I could see a wheel, Tony. About what am I gonna be when I grow up? A major league first baseman? Maybe a point guard for a national champion. The odds of a child becoming a professional athlete are 1 in 16,000. Far-fetched? Maybe. But did you know the odds of a child being diagnosed with autism are 1 in 166? That's right, 1 in 166. To learn the signs of autism, go to AutismSpeaks.org. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Hey Chicago, it's Rufio here. People always ask me how I got my start in radio, and I tell them, I'm an Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate. With the on-air and behind-the-scenes training I received, I was able to be placed in an internship at KISS FM, and now I'm on the air. Classes meet three times a week, day or night, and in just one year, you'll be on your way to a career in radio or TV. So go to B on air.com slash career for more information don't wait enroll now at b on air.com slash career are you looking for a place to get all your ahl news then tune in wednesdays from four to six and listen to the chicago hockey connection on sportstownchicago.com we will talk about the chicago wolves and the rockford ice hogs analyze every goal save and win for both teams including exclusive interviews of coaches and players and much much more again chc airs wednesdays from four to six on sportstownchicago.com and be sure to like us on facebook at facebook.com slash chicago hockey connection to get all your hockey updates as the baseball season wears on you may wonder what the manager of your team is thinking how many pots have you smoked and think that you can do a better job oh yeah well wednesdays from 10 to 1 on sportstownchicago.com you can tell rick and Ian of the Sports Hump, what you do if you were in charge. I'm going to give you a promotion. Welcome aboard, Mr. Manager. Wow, a Mr. Manager. Well, manager. 
we, we would just say manager. Who should start, come out of the pen, pinch hit? What team does Ron Jeremy play for? <laughs> Double switches and more. So for the best baseball talk from Rick, Ian, and you, the listener, tune into the Sports Hump Wednesdays from 10 to 1 on SportstownChicago.com. Do people tell you that you have a good voice? Do you like music? Are you unhappy with your current job? If you answered yes to any of these questions, call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard now. Welcome back live from the Great Lakes Center here where we have some exciting college volleyball going on right now. The Spartans lead Bradley 2 to nothing. If they win this next set, they win the match, but Bradley playing, playing very well in that last set, Mike. What can they do to improve and get back into this game, perhaps steal a set and send it to game four? Just uh, continue capitalizing on Michigan State's mistakes and try to avoid making mistakes of their own. They're playing as hard as they can. Uh, they're playing their hearts out. I'd like to see them pull away with, uh, with the victory here. And Bradley will get first serve. It's Lauren Durante. Durante guarding righty serves it. Moser. Court and sends it over. Moser again. Backside attack. Wazinski back to Bradley. Tips it over the net. Turns Moser. Bumps it. Sets it up. And it's going to be a point for the Spartans. That one just stayed inbounds. Nice spike all the way to the back side of the court. Taylor Galloway serving for the Spartans. Jump serve. Set up, return by Bradley, number two, and it's a kill for Bradley, number 12, Jessica to Jesse Tulaka, 1-1. One, one. Nice positioning of the spike by Tulaka right between the two back defenders for the Spartans. And serving, Amy Angelos. Zinski returns to serve, and it's gonna be a backside attack. Bradley turns it, and they go for a cross-court kill, but it's blocked, double blocked right there by Jasmine White. Two to one Spartans here in this game three. Michigan State leads at two to nothing, currently two to one. Moser serving now for the Spartans, the co-captain and All-American. Jump serve over the net, line drive. Set up for the Spartans, and it's going to be returned, and it's back on the Spartan side, and a little miscommunication by the Spartans, and it's going to be a point for Bradley. Number one, Corey Moser. Number 18, Alexis Matthews almost collided in the backcourt trying to go after that one. Luckily, both of them are okay. Tied up here at two. Third set. Bradley serves. Turn. Set up. Here comes Wazinski, and she comes up with a powerful kill. Doing what she does best. She definitely is an All-American, I can tell you that much. And serving for Michigan State is Hallie Peterson. 3-2 Spartans. Serves it over the net, and that's going to be an ace. They cannot return it. Wazinski last season had 571 kills. That's over 260 more than the sec person second place, Amy Dentlinger, who will graduate this spring. Served over Bradley back set cross court attack was blocked by Michigan State and Lauren Wazinski again. 5 2 Spartans, this Spartan team. I'm telling you what, they're very impressive. She can play some defense too. Tour and A1 digs last year as well. Peterson serving again. And she's going to serve it long. That's going to be a side out point for this part for Bradley. 5 to 3 Spartans. Serving for Bradley right now will be Jesse Tulaka. She's getting instructions from the assistant coach right now. And here comes the serve. Over the net, Wazinski returns it, set it up, and a little dink over the net. That's gonna be a point for the Spartans. Nice play uh, by the middle blocker, number 10, Kelsey Kuypers. Wazinski is gonna be serving, and she comes with power. 
Here comes the jump serve. She serves, and that's a rocket. And no way Bradley can return that. That's going to be an ace for the Spartans. Wazinski showing off all her tools today. <laughs> Give cr credit to uh, Jesse Tulaka for trying, but that one was just way too hard and way too low. Again, another line drive serve, but it goes into the net. And it's going to be a point for the Braves. But you can see Lauren Wazinski's composure right there, right in the net, but she clapped her hands right away, shook it off like a closer. Serving for Bradley right now is going to be Lasak, the Libero. And that's going to be another point for Bradley as Michigan State tries to get it over in the net, but it hit, runs right into the net. That's going to be an error, point for Bradley, and again, Sack will be serving. Sack, the jump serve, floater, turned by Wazinski, set. And it's going to be just out of bounds for Michigan State, and that's going to be another point for Bradley. Nice approach by Kelsey Kuypers to try to uh, hit, hit close to the end line, just on the wrong side. 7-6, Sack is going to be serving, and it look, looks like we have a change in score right there. The official has changed it. We're not quite sure where it is. We'll get you an update on that, but it's 8-5 Spartans, and Jasmine White is serving right now. Sends it over, Sack digs it. And a rally goes over the net, but it's going to be a point for the Spartans. 9-5 Michigan State in the third set. Michigan State up 2-0. Jasmine White serving again. Floater right now. Set back, set by Bradley. Cross court attack, but it hits the net and it falls on Bradley's side. A point for Michigan State, 10 to 5. Jasmine White, forceful player. Or to Oshawa, Ontario. So she is Canadian, but we still love her. And it's going to be a double block by the Spartans as they're fired up, and it's going to be another point, 11 to 5. Nice job setting up the wall by Taylor Galloway and Kelsey Kuypers. Both of them getting credit for the block. Jasmine White again serving from the back left side. Floater over the net. Turn the sack. Set it up. That's going to be a kill for the Bradley Braves. They're right back in it. Amy Andros with a little steam on that one. A little hot sauce. <laughs> Give me the hot sauce. Madison Camp serving for Bradley. Left-handed serve, floater over the net. Wazinski bumps it, back set. Spartans try to kill it, but Bradley keeps it alive. And a little dink over the net by Bradley, returned. Moser, Wazinski, and it's gonna be, an, oh, it hits the top of the wall, oh. but, uh, and they still can't return it. Wazinski gets a point. Well, it's unfortunate for the Braves. Tough luck there for Jesse Tulaka and Bradley. She had a play on it, but it hit the rafters and bounced in a, weird direction that she wasn't expecting. Unfortunately, just went off her arms and out of bounds. Unfortunately, we're not playing in East Lansing or Bradley Center. So. Yeah, kind of a low <laughs> ceiling here for volleyball. These balls can bounce high if they're hit hard enough. And right now, Bradley, back to Moser. Moser, open hand pass, Sandin backs on attack, and it's gonna be a little dink by Wazinski, and she's gonna get a point. Great position of that little dump there. Spartan. Right right in the middle of uh, backcourt, right where Bradley uh, wasn't standing, they couldn't defend it. Spartans pulling away a little bit, 13-6. Plenty of time left, though, served by Michigan State. A little dink over the net, Michigan State gets it. Moser, backside attack by Wazinski again, and the power of Wazinski, another kill for her. Now, if you're listening in Chicago, if you're from Chicago and you watch that Bulls Heat game, I don't know if LeBron James can even take the serve from Wazinski. <laughs> I don't know if he'd want to. I don't know if he'd want to. <laughs> he'd be crying. Yeah. And it's going to be another, it's going <laughs> to be a point right now for Michigan State. And Bradley takes a timeout, 15-6. And right now we're going to stay with you during this timeout. But Wazinski, the power she serves, yeah, I don't think LeBron James wants <laughs> any piece of her after his post-game comments after that Bulls heat game. Well, she's from Geneva. She's a local girl, um, not too far from here. She's probably got some family and friends in the audience, so she's bringing something a little extra special for uh, those in attendance. But she's 6'1". She's a junior. She's got plenty of experience. 
and uh, like we've seen, she's her serves and her spikes are just so hard. It's tough for any any team, any defense to stop it, really. Absolutely. And as we turn to action, 20 seconds. Let me tell you something about Michigan State volleyball camps this summer in 13. Make sure you sign up your kids. They have camps from July all <laughs> the way to the end of July. So for all you young volleyball players out there, if you're a Michigan State fan, go to michigan-state-sports.com and you will find all the information you need to sign up. Bradley returns from the huddle. And if you go to bradleysportsvolleyball.com, you can find out all the summer camp information as both teams offer a plethora of great volleyball camps, great facilities, and great staffs. We're back in action right now. Spartan serving, Bradley returning, and it's a cross-court kill by Bradley, 15-7. Nice play right in front of Chris and Kelsey, who was there to defend it, but it was just out of her reach. Jesse Tulaka serving now. Floater serve. Set over, here comes and five, and it's going to be a point for this cross court kill for the Spartans. 16 to 7 right now. Hadley Orr, the first I mentioned of her, she was one on the nice cross court spike. Freshman out of Rockford, Michigan. And Ryan Hubbard checks into the game. Correction, she's out of Forest, Indiana. Ryan serves, Bradley returns, blocked. Michigan State sets it up, and there she is again. It's going to be Jasmine White with a forceful kill right down the center. Chris and Kelsey right there in front of the net with a nice set. Quick quick set there to um, Jasmine White. White's had a heck of a match so far. Yeah, she's definitely a force. Service over by Hubbard. Bradley returns cross court. Michigan State keeps it in play, overhand pass. Back over, sets it up, here comes cross-court kill, and the Spartans cannot return it. It's going to be a point for Bradley, 17-8. Bradley can gain a little momentum right now. They can get right back in this game and save themselves. Number seven for Michigan State, Rand Hubbard. Tried an overhand bump, just couldn't handle it. And Wazinski, a, a cut shot down the line. She has tools for everything. She's right. hitting it ev everywhere she's hitting it where the defense isn't. It's like she automatically knows where to where to put it as soon as that ball gets set in the air. Great vision, great knowledge, great volleyball knowledge for Warren Wazinski. And again, it's going to be another point for Michigan State as it's blocked again by Wazinski and J Jasmine Alexis White. Alexis Matthews on the block as well. Check that, Alexis Matthews. Jessica Teal serving for Bradley. That point was for Bradley last time, I apologize. Set by Teal, and it's going to be another point for Bradley. 18 Ma to 10. Madison Camp with a nice spike off the arm of Jasmine White. They're near the end line by both the team's benches. Teal serving again. Knuckleball floater. Michigan State tries to can. It's a Michigan State point. Kill for Michigan State, 19-10. That was a tough serve to handle. Good job by Michigan State's backcourt. Just getting the ball in the air for them to keep the ball alive. Peterson and Culpers check into the game for Michigan State. And it's going to be a Ryan Hubbard serving. Floater serve. Set up, right down the middle, a little dink, and whoa, what a dig by Courtney Moser. And it's going to be a point for Bradley as it was a rapid volley right there, and it was an eventual cross-court kill for the Braves. That was a nice save by Michigan State earlier, too. Uh, all their players were positioned along the end lines and the back line. Not many people there in the middle. They were still able to keep it alive. Now Michigan State, and Bradley keeps it alive as we're in play right now, sends it over the net, bumps, sets up. Here comes Wazinski, cross court, and it's saved by Bradley. Rapid volley going on right now. Bradley comes up, and it's going to be a point for Bradley as the cross court kill. The Spartans couldn't gain control. Tip out of bounds, 19-12 Michigan State.
and serving for Bradley is number 12. Jesse Tulaka. Turns it over. Moser gets control of it. And there is Matthews again. Actually, that ball went out of bounds just barely. So the Bradley Braves get another point. They're within six, 19 to 13. Moser returns to serve, and it's going to be a set blocked by Bradley. Cross court. Teal. Moser. And a little dink right there, Michigan State. Nicely done, and it's going to be 20 to 13, Michigan State. Great effort on the play, too, by Jessica Teal. Bradley trying to keep it alive just too far out of her reach. Spartan serve, it's going to be Rand Hubbard. Teal bumps it, and it's going to be coming to the net, blocked by the Spartans. They gain control over the left side, and it's going to be a point for the Spartans as she just tips it over off Bradley. And it's 21 to 13 Spartans as they're starting to pull away a little bit and trying to win this match. Mass and Camp and number one, Jessica Teal tried for the block. Just off of Camp's fingertips. And there's a great kill for Bradley. Sent right down the line. That's going to be number 10, Christy Chinawith. Chinawith. <laughs> great, vision, great vision right there by Chinawith to give Bradley the service back. It's going to be number two, Leah Sack serving. And State. And that's going to be a point for Michigan State. As it's another kill for number four, Kelly Peterson. One of the top players for Bradley last year, number five, Elise Tuparitis. I do not see her. I'm not sure if she's with the team today. Service by Michigan State. And it's going to be a double block by Michigan State. 23 to 14. That's going to be the tandem of Kelsey Culpers and Jasmine White. Jasmine White serving again. Bradley needs to stay alive. And that's a nice little dink over the net for the Braves. They get a point, 23 to 15. Nice Bra little dink there by Amy Angelos. Bradley staying alive, staying alive. Madison Camp serves it over, and it's going to be another point for this for Bradley, and it's 23 to 16 as the Spartans could not handle that one. Great serve by Camp, had a little touch to it, uh, spun to the left and off the arms of the Michigan State defender. Bradley serves it over, Moser, bump, second hit, sent over, block, Bradley gains control, and it's going to be another little dink, and that's going to be a point for Bradley as it is Amy Angelos playing great in this match. She gets the point right there. I'd expect Michigan State to hang near the front of the net more, try to prevent those dump pet, those uh, dump sets. 23-17, back set, Bradley. Cross court hit, blocked by the Spartans. Keeping in play, and it's blocked by Bradley again. 23-18, to 18. Bradley staying alive in this match. They're showing a lot of fight. Cordelia Murphy, the middle blocker, sophomore on Marseilles, Illinois, with a nice block. Madison Camp serving, left-handed serve. Michigan State, but oh, what a beautiful play right there. The point for the Spartans, Mike. Caught Bradley completely off guard. They didn't see that coming from number seven, Rianne Hubbard. A backhand set just dinked it over the net right where the defenders were not. Michigan State serving now this for the match and they just did it. That's going to be a kill and an ace and Michigan State has won three games to zero. They win that by a final of 25 to 18. Michigan State, tough team, but Bradley hunting hun in there very well. They played them very tough, especially in those last two sets. Yeah, they did. They played very well. I'm impressed with their play. They showed up. They played as hard as they could. Michigan State a very tough opponent for him. Uh, this is something that Bradley can learn from. The more off-season experience they get, the better off they'll be next season, especially when they head into Missouri Valley Conference play. 
And this is just the start of spring ball, so everyone may be a little bit rusty, and Bradley definitely didn't look like it. They hung in there with the mighty Spartans, but so we can hopefully expect good things from Bradley this year, and we know it's going to happen for Michigan State. They'll always be there. A lot of players on Bradley's team, a lot of the underclassmen and uh, sophomores heading into the juniors, got a lot of experience last year, got a lot of playing time. And we're going to go over to a break. The Spartans win this match 3 to nothing. You're listening to College Volleyball on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. 